hey y'all welcome back to my channel it's samani lad y'all you know what's going on i'm just happy i'm making a youtube video y'all if y'all new to my channel please subscribe get y'all girl up i'm almost to 300 subscribers y'all help me out please this has been my goal for the loggies like i really love what i do i really love what i do being a content maker content maker yeah 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 <laughs> i really love what i do i really love my channel you know what i'm saying i love your way y'all watch my channels when y'all talk about my videos or y'all support me i love all that y'all feel me so i used to be thinking like i want to do videos for a long time but i had to take a break because of school and stuff so now I'm back and it's somebody was start y'all for y'all you know i'm about to be consistent all right, all right, all right. so i did like a sorry y'all I did like a little poll and I was like, which one? I wanna be, I wanna do a Simone talk. So today's a Simone talk, y'all. So welcome back to Simone talk. Anyways, so I wanted to do a poll and see which video shot y'all wanted to see. I was like, do y'all want a healing tips or do y'all want self love slash love languages? I put it on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And everybody said, well, most everybody well one was self love slash love languages. Some people did healing too, but love languages and self love one. So this is what today is. I do healing tips another day, y'all. But thank y'all for participating in my poll. Okay. So I'm gonna start off with saying self love. Ooh, what I say right there? What I oh I gotta sue what I say right there. Self love is the best love. Y'all you know what's going on. Self love gang. Y'all feel me? You gotta love yourself before you can love anybody else. And that is so true. Like, so true. Like, you know, we all young. Like, we all, you know, we all probably went through breakups and stuff where there was times where we just didn't love ourselves. Like, and we just stayed in that relationship and we loved the person more than we loved ourselves. Oh, never. Oh, he said that once. I said, I love you more than I love myself. Man, I never say that shit again. You feel? I never say that again. Never. Never. Because, baby, you don't love me, you got to go. Because, baby, I love myself. I love myself for the both of us. How about that? Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm me for real. That was when I was like 18 or whatever. So, let me just tell y'all. So, when I was like, yeah, like I said, 18. When I was 18, I just didn't love myself. I was a college freshman. I was really messing with the... A fuck nigga. No, I fuck nigga freaky. <laughs> but yeah, so it was just like, I was depressed. Did love myself. Okay, so like I was saying, so when I was like 18, like, I didn't love myself. And I loved that boy more than I loved myself, which was a very sad thing. I didn't know my worth. And I was just let him do whatever to me. Till I finally was like, I'm done with this. I'm done. And I stopped that shit. And when I was like 19, that's what I like completely left him for good. And ever since I left him for good, y'all, I start loving myself more. I start knowing my wife. Confidence went super high up. Like when I, I look back on my pictures, when I was 19, that's when I started like posting more, started looking better, looking cute, get my hair done, outfits, just so much that I would never have done when I was 18 or 17. You know what I'm saying? Cause I left that nigga. I left that nigga. <laughs> love her. And I just started loving myself when I was nineteen. So when I tell y'all when y'all you love yourself, your confidence will go so much up. You know, you will know your worth. You will never say, "I love you more than I love myself." No, you will never do that. You love yourself first. You will put yourself first. You know your worth. You know, say all that. All that self love is literally the best love. <laughs> <laughs> that I got a crowd because I'm a princess, I'm a queen. Duh. Princess treatment only. Princess treatment? Oh, get on my face. Oh, get on my face. That's <laughs> for real. Okay, so it comes with self love, it comes with self uh, self care. Self care is very important. Now, I feel like I've been doing so much self care lately and I just love it. Like, get my hair done. Because, period. Getting my nails done. Because, period. Do my makeup, lashes, buy new clothes, 
get the tattoos. These are old. But I'm just saying, I'll just say y'all don't do it. Don't do it. Just say y'all. Buy new shoes. Get your eyebrows done. Now, all that is self care. Those for girls. If, if a boy is watching this and it's self care for boys, well, like buy your clothes, buy your shoes, get your hair cut. You know what I'm saying? Even buy your food could be self care, y'all. If you had a long day, right? Like, long day of school. Man, I'm gonna treat myself with your favorite food, period. Favorite drink, favorite candy. You know what I'm saying? Having fun with your friends is self care too, y'all. We had a long week. Let's go have fun with my friends. Get cute, get dressed up, get some drinks, and have fun with your girls. You know what I'm saying? That is self care. A lot of things doing for yourself is self care. A lot of things you won't even think of. If it makes you happy, it's self care, period. And that's just it, period. Okay. So now, I'm going to talk to y'all about the five love languages, y'all. The love languages, the love languages. When I tell y'all this, it might seem like I'm a sip. Well, I am a sip. <laughs> I'm a sip to the right word. You feel me? Okay. But regardless of the sipness, I love languages. Like, love languages. I love love languages. Because it's just like, it's just naturally in me. Like, I don't even think about it. Like, I didn't even know about the love languages till like probably like last year I started looking them up. But before I was just doing most of them and I I didn't even know. Cause I was in love. I was happy in love, you feel me? So yeah, so the first love language I got for y'all is words of affirmations. Words of affirmations. Words of affirmations kinda like real shorts. So real shorts is like telling your partner. I love you. You are the best thing you ever happened to me. You mean so much to me. You are my everything. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you for being in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, all things are paragraph. When I tell you I am a sip for words of affirmations, you know them. I know you sleep, but type of hair guys that's me you know what i'm saying that's me well i be staying up two o'clock i'm just thinking about my boo i don't gotta boo y'all i don't gotta boo that well you know what i'm really loves you you know what i'm saying so just staying up thinking about my boots i know you i know you sleep but i want you to wake up today you know what i'm saying just a good paragraph a red shirt you feel me that's me you know how much i'm a sip I gave letters, letters, letters to niggas. Do you hear me? Write it out, letters, type it out, letters, a real short, a word to affirmation. <laughs> so just know, I was saying, for I love, I love reassurance, and I love to receive the reassurance. I can't deal with nobody that don't like to give me reassurance. Like, why you not giving me reassurance? I need to know that you still like me. I need to know that you love me. I need to know that's the best thing that ever happened to you. You feel me? I need to know that you're pretty. You know what I'm saying? That you think I'm pretty. I know I'm pretty, but I need you to know. I want you to tell me that you think I'm pretty. Do you hear me? Like, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, those words and affirmations are very, very, very deep. And that's a plus for me. That's one of my love Like, just definitely number one of my love Like, it's true. Second love language is quality time. Okay, quality time. If I tell my partner to come see me, and he'll come see me. You know what I'm saying? I tell my partner to come see me, and he comes see me. It could be, it could be 2 o'clock of the day, 5 o'clock of the day, 11 o'clock at night. Come see me, and he comes see me. He stopped what he doing to come see me. I would, that's me. Do y'all hear me? That's me. You say you're having a bad day. Don't worry, boo. I'm coming. I'm coming. You say you need something to drink. You say you want some food. You know what I'm saying? Like, I am coming to your the rescue. That is me. I am a sip like that, too. Like, I want to be with you. I'm clingy. I want to be skin to skin, soul to soul. You feel me? Like, I want to be in you. Like, wearing the same clothes as you type shit. You feel me? Like, <laughs> quality time is me, for sure. You can do anything. Anything. We can walk in the park. We could go to the movies. We could just chill, watch, watch, watch the sky, watch the stars, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Go to the lake. Do whatever you want. Do whatever I want. Quality time is my love language. Come see me, baby. Come see me. Stop what you're doing and come see me because I will stop what I'm doing to come see you. You feel me? Like, that's what I'm saying. Quality time. You could do anything with your partner. That is quality time for sure. Third, third love language 
is acts of service acts of service and that's basically just doing anything for your partner you feel me like fill it up gas for your partner giving your partner some money to go get some food going to do this for your partner doing this for your partner doing that for your partner you know what i'm saying just a whole bunch of different things is acts of service and i'm not that like that is a little bit of my college of my love language but not for real i really would not say it. it's not because like oh i don't want to do that that's not it it's just like i really never had the opportunity to do those things for my partner so i really would not say it's not it's not my love language that's okay it could be y'all love language that's okay it could be my love language next year it could be my love language in my next relationship you know what i'm saying it's just i just never had an opportunity in the past to do fill up my partner's tank. Go, go get my partner some food. Uh, go do this for my partner. Go do this. I don't know all these examples because I haven't did it. But it's okay though. It's okay. Just know I'm still, I'm still, I still, I don't know. Just. <laughs> anyways, anyways, anyways. For love, the fourth love language, y'all. When I tell y'all, it's gifts. And I'ma sip with the gifts too. Y'all know that thread? Not that thread. That trend that was just happening of the thread of everybody like screenshotting their cash apps of what they said to their partner. Hey, me that. I, I, I'm a sip to extent. You feel me? They ain't me that. I wanna, they were sending thousands and thousands of dollars to their partner. See, I got it like that, but I ain't doing it like that. I ain't going out like that. Do y'all hear me? Yeah, yeah, but it's all right. Just because I love you, $3,000, $2,000 for these, $3,000 for this, $75. I said, y'all might need to come my way, though. <laughs> y'all might need to come my way, though. But no, nah, for real, though. No. Gifts. That's definitely, gifts is definitely all their love language, just for real. They was talking about some. It's the Sagittarius for in me. It's the Virgo in me. Well, it's not the Leo in me. <laughs> it's not the Leo in me. I'm giving a thousand dollars to no nigga. Do you hear me? If it's retired, if the, if the nigga gave me a thousand dollars first, I'll think about it to give a nigga a thousand dollars. Zach. No, 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 no. For real, for real. But no, gifts is my definitely my love language. And I love giving gifts. Let me tell y'all this. I gave. Oh, I, I see you like do rags. What kind of do rags you got? You got, you got, you got every color except purple. I got you, right? I got you, right? Get that nigga a purple do rag. What you like? Like your socks? I got you. You like the pair of shoes? I got you. You like that cologne? I got you. Just because, man, he go, because I appreciate you. If you are your birthday type shit, Christmas anniversary, just because this when I see you. This is your favorite candy. Next time I see you, I got you. This is your favorite cookie. This is your favorite snack. This is your favorite drink. Next time I see you, I got you. They wouldn't even know it. Do you hear me? Like, I'm a sip like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I just do it just because I want to do it. I would love to get it back. I would love to get it back. But I don't always get it back. But that's okay. That's okay. Because I know what day I will. And I'm just like, I'm not doing it to get it back. I'm doing it because I love you. And I tell you that I appreciate you. That's why I'm giving that to you. You hear me? And let you know that's the best thing that ever happened to you. That's why. <laughs> not fair, not fair, fair. But I really believe that I got this love luggage coming from my mama. Yes, you can. Like, if you was raised with love and raised, if your parents did these love languages to you, then it passed on. Like, for example, my mama, every other day, I swear, can you not, till to this day, every other day, she will come home with a candy. She will come home with my favorite candy. Come home with my favorite snack. Come home with my favorite drink. It's like, I got this for you. And then if I make her mad, she said, see, I'm not even going to give it to you. I got this for you, blah, blah. blah. And she will eventually, eventually give it to me. But I'm saying, like, can you not, I'm 22 years old, my mama still giving me Candy, still give me stuff. I'll come home from college. Candy on my bed. Come home. Candy's on my bed. She love giving me candy. I love candy. <laughs> but I'll just say, like, that is her love language, is giving gifts. If she know that this is my favorite, she will give that to me. If I know that this is my partner's favorite, I would give that to him. You know, it was just, it just naturally. It just comes naturally. Mama does it to me, so I do it to my people. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I love that. My mama do that. She still do it to me, my sister, my brother. 
that's just what she do. And I love that. And this is what I do. And I love that. You hear me? I'm giving it because I love you. Because I care about you. I was thinking about you. I'm in the store. And I'm about to get myself my favorite candy. And I see that, ooh, this is your favorite candy, too. Hmm, I'm about to see him tonight. Hmm, I'm about to see him later this week. Let me get this and save it for him. Ha happy birthday surprise. You know what I'm saying? Like, here, this is just because you feel me? Like, when I think, if I buy you something, it's because I'm thinking about you. If I'm always thinking about you, then that's a plus. <laughs> that's a plus. Yeah, hear me though. Last word, the last love language it is, is physical touch. Physical touch. And it don't have to be sexual. It don't have to be. That intimacy. I said it right? Yeah, the intimacy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, like, for real, love language. Holding my hand. Make my nigga hold my hand. Every ride hold. Did I hear me? <laughs> Every ride hold. Hold my hand, baby. Hold my hand. You feel me? Uh, what else can be love language? It could be just simple, like... I'm tired. I lay on your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? A hug. Right when I see you, give a big hug. A long, big hug. You know what I'm saying? That is that intimacy that I love, that I feel like. It could be anything. You driving. They driving. Put that hand on your leg. You know what I'm saying? Like, physical touch is my love luggage. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. You feel me? Like, when I'm comfortable with you, I'm touching all a lot of you. I, like I said, skin to skin, soul to soul, clingy. I want to be inside you. I want to be wearing the same jeans you wear. <laughs> wear the same basketball shirts you wear. You feel me? Like, physical touch is definitely my life. Like I said, it's not how to be nothing sex right you All intimacy. All just my leg on top of your leg just because. Touching me just because. I'm touching you just because. You know what I'm saying? When you're comfortable with that person, that's your physical touch. That's your love language, too. And just because you do these love language things with your partner, you don't have to just do it with your partner, too. You can definitely do it with your family and your friends. Well, I love my physical touch. You could do, like I said, not sexual. But gifts, like my mama do it to me, I do it to my friends and family. I definitely do it with my friends. Here, I'm thinking about you. Here you go. I be thinking about my friends' birthday gifts early. I want to be so creative with their gifts. It makes you just a good person. You know what I'm saying? Make you a good friend. You could be a good partner, a good friend by doing all these love languages. Even a good family member by doing all these love languages. Know that the person is important. You show them that the person is important to you. You are appointed to me, so I want to give you what I remember that you told me that you like. You told me that you like this. I remember that, so I got this for you. I got this for you for your birthday. You would never thought I was going to give that to you. You never thought, you thought I wasn't listening. I was listening. Here you go. To your family, to your, fam to your friends, all of that. Gifts, physical touch. You can be physical, like you can be really clicky with your best friend. You know what I'm saying? You always gotta put the leg on it. Always gotta hug them. You always gotta touch them. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what me and my friends do too. Uh, what else? Acts of services. Do everything for your best friend. Do everything for your friends and family too. You could definitely do that as well. Um, with words and affirmations, like I bought, like I made for my best friend for her birthday. I made her a jar full of words and affirmations, just a whole bunch of things. You are pretty. I love you. You are the best. You got this. You are worth it. You know what I'm saying? It was just, and then she pick it out and she will read it. You know what I'm saying? Like, perfect example of words and affirmations right there for your friend. That was my best friend. That was for her birthday. And she loved it. You know what I'm saying? Just anything. Support is real. All those things. What else? There was one more. Affirmations, gifts, exercises. Physical touch, quality time. Best friend, come go to the mall with me. Go to the gas station with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, do anything with the person. Let's go to the lake. I don't want to be by myself. Let's go to the store. You know what I'm saying? Let's take this walk with me. All of that. Quality time with your friends, with your family. Quality time. Like, your mom's in the room. You in the living room. Go upstairs. And go be with her. Quality time. You know what I'm saying? Like, all that is love languages. And... Before I get off this topic, you do this for your friends, your family, even your partner. But most importantly, you got to do all these love languages for yourself. And that's just it, period. You got to pour it into your cup before you can pour it to anybody else's cup. Y'all already know what's going on. You feel me? You already know you got to love yourself first. You got to give yourself that self-love. You got to give yourself all those love languages. Give yourself a gift. Yeah, a long day at work, I'm treating myself with some Chick-fil-A. I'm treating myself with some cookies, with some McDonald's cookies because I love me some McDonald's cookies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just treat yourself. 
yourself. Those are gifts. Oh, I'm going to buy this purse because this is cute and I have money. And I just worked my butt off this whole week. Treat yourself. I just passed this test at school. Let's go out with my friends. Treat yourself. You know what I'm saying? Always celebrate yourself. Celebrate yourself every single day because you are here. And you thought you wasn't going to be here a year ago. You was like, I'm never going to make this. I don't know how to make this. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. But you got through this. You feel me? You got through this and you can make it. You survive and you are here. So celebrate yourself every single day, y'all. Celebrate yourself every single day. Give yourself gifts. Give yourself quality time. Be by yourself and do things that makes you happy. I love dance. So I make myself happy. And dance make me happy. And I dance today. YouTube making me happy. So I made sure I got cute and do a YouTube video today. You know what I'm saying? Do things for yourself. That's that quality time to go to. Take a walk. Clear your mind. Think. Talk to yourself. That's what can talk to yourself. Don't let everybody tell you love. Don't let anybody tell yourselves that it's not okay to talk to yourself. Because you are your best friend. Period. You know what I'm saying? Quality time. Gifts. Exercise. So when you do exercise yourself every single day, you do your own things for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You fill up your own gas tank. You make your own stuff dinner. You know what I'm saying? All the little things. Ask yourself is just your love language naturally. You feel me? Um, What else? Physical touch. Give yourself a hug. <laughs> Give yourself a hug and tell yourself, Simone, you are worth it. You will always be worth it. And that's just it. Period. Words of affirmations. Wake up every day and say a list of affirmations. And get it stuck in your head. You don't have a good day today. Today's going to be a better day than yesterday. You are the best. You are going to do this. You are going to win in life. Period. Y'all hear me. Do y'all hear me though? Are y'all listening? Are y'all listening? Because I don't think y'all listening. Because I'm speaking facts in this video. Y'all already know what's going on. When I'm doing my small talks, I'm getting my most motivation speaker on. That's what I want to be as my career. And this is this is YouTube helped me. And I'm gonna go for it. Period. Because that's just it. So, but I think I really done though for real. I really just makes me happy just speaking this to y'all. So I hope y'all like it. Hope y'all love it. Hope y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And tell me what y'all love, love language is. Let me know. Let me know what y'all love language is. You feel me? Because I got like four out of five. And I am a sip, but it's okay because I'm never gonna sip for nobody that's not sip for me again. I'm sipping for niggas that sip for me. That's a Christmas treatment only. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sipping for myself first. I'm pouring my cup first before I can meet anybody else. I love myself and I hope y'all love yourself too. And I hope this helps y'all as well. Thank y'all for watching. Please stay tuned to my next video. Thank y'all. Bye.